but man's DNA still has a chance for survival. 200 miles above the Earth, up in the International Space Station, rests a computer disk called the Immortality Drive. Delivered into orbit in October 2008, the Immortality Drive contains the digitized DNA information of a highly eclectic group, including physicist Stephen Hawking, comedian Stephen Colbert, and Playboy model Joe Garcia. It's the brainchild of Richard Garriott, a video game producer from Houston who thinks alien beings one day might use the DNA data to reconstruct an extinct humanity. The immortality drive may be man's best shot at preserving the species in a life after people, but can it really last forever? Three years after people. The International Space Station still orbits above the Earth. But without constant recalibration from terrestrial stations or boosts from space shuttles, it loses two miles of altitude each month. As it drops from its original height of 200 miles to below 160 miles, the orbital decline accelerates until it re-enters the atmosphere where air and friction meet gravity and the space station burns up. Incinerated in the descent. The final hope of reconstructing the human species. The digitized DNA of the immortality drive proves to be quite mortal after all.